Okay. Um, I got it working. <laughs> so uh, if you're curious how to get it working, if you have the same type of issue, uh, if you right click on it, go to properties and got compatibility and change high DPI settings. I had these set, which is correct, but I had this set at the application it should be set at the system. Okay. So to design, um, I know it still may be a little small, but uh, this is our input here. And I keep wanting to click it and drag it. You don't. You come in and click over there. And I um, thought you could resize it. Maybe not. Okay. But anyway, I'll drop on another one. Now you can label these by putting letters next to them. Like this was going to be X and this one's going to be Y, like that. You can also, when you drop on uh, one of those, down here, you can put a label on it. So you can say X like that. So different ways you could do that. Um, do X space space. You can space out a little bit like that. Now, this is our AND gate, so I click here. If I come back to put my mouse on uh, the input here, you see there's a green circle that appears. If I click and hold down and start moving my mouse, it'll draw a line. And you can have this go into the AND gate. Same here. Now, if I want, to, if I want it to turn, then I can just do my mouse up. But now if I try to turn right, it won't work. So it only allows one turn. How you get around that is you lit up on it, and then you click where that is flashing, and do like that. Click here, go up. If you play with it, you'll see that's pretty easy to work with. And drop that over there, and then have this come out here. And these are inputs. Of course, have an X and X probably to make a whole lot of sense. Um, but uh, this would be X and Y and X. And the three multiply together. Zero times zero times. And then you click that little hand here to change the input. So that sets our voltage to one. Zero times zero times one is zero. If I change that, it's still zero. I'd have to change this in order to get a one there. Okay. Clicking a black arrow back over here. You can set it back. And let me uh, do a couple more here. There. There. This is the OR gate. And. If you're wondering, well, does it work better one way or the other if you have these as symmetric or anything like that? No. It's just uh, um, pleasing to the eye is what you're shooting for there. Um, okay, so have that come over there. And again, click the hand and you can 0 plus 1 is 0. Um, 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 0. Again, thinking of the OR as addition, it's not, but that's how we think of it. Remember the one exception? 1 plus 1 is 2, so it's really 1. Okay, click that. Um, the invert. Here's the invert gate. So these are your three basic ones we looked at in class. And here's my output. Circle is always your output. And see how it goes from 0 to 1. If I change it, then it goes 1 to 0. Now, you can have all kinds of uh, variations of this. Uh, if you want to delete this line right here, you click it one time, press your delete key. Uh, maybe I'm lying. Uh, I think press delete. But right click. Right click. There we go. Oh, I still have my hand. 
Okay, now let me try it. Delete. Ah, it is delete. Uh, you just can't have your hand shows. So if I wanted to put something else in here, and we're going to see more complex ones like this. Like, we'll put an AND gate there. And after the AND gate, I want to put an inverter, a knot. And that come in there, that come in there, that come into there. And then I could have like this branch off. If I wanted to branch off right here, I or right here, I just click and then go up. And click, go up, and so forth. So anyway, uh, that's a tool. Um, make sure you install it. Maybe make sure you can do some of the basic ones and and uh, you won't have to do much graphing in this first chapter except for the basic ones, which we'll do some you do.